Fatty Chick Achievements Work Hard Play Harder Well, hello, my weird and wonderful people. Welcome to another guide. This time it's the Little Gator Game. I absolutely love this game. Absolutely adored it. Um, it's published by Platonic Friends, uh, developed by Mega Wobble, currently free on Game Pass. Uh, this is a game I would personally buy, um, 100%, um, definitely would. I don't think they're going to release new content for it, but um, I definitely would buy it if they did. Um, speed run mode I've put on, which just basically means it's going to speed go through all the dialogue, basically. So um, just to help, um, you know, narrow down this video um, runtime, basically. So when we rock up to our sister, we're going to go back into our memories of, uh, you know, times when things were more fun, when the real world didn't quite contaminate. <laughs> and so, blah, 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 fast forward. Uh, little sis is now proper grown-up sis. And we're still a kid, so. That's pretty much the story on. Okay, so now we're going to find our three friends. Um, from where I start, I would actually go left um, and, and speak to Jill. Um, so just keep going forward and then left. Um, but I go right and I see Martin first. I think I was just curious about the bridge. Um, this is my second playthrough. Um, I remember being um, on this cliff edge for about 10 minutes because um, it was a memory and I thought I had to save a kid from falling off a cliff and it's not, it was us as a child. Uh, so those things you see are just memories. Um, anyway, we're going to go grab this pot. Uh, which will eventually become a lid, which will be something we can use. They say as a shield, but we basically use it as a sled. Um, nothing attacks us on this game, so we don't need to use it as a shield. But we do use it as a sled on these race games. Um, and you have to do all of these, every single race game. Um, don't think you can just avoid them. <laughs> you can't. Uh, to get the full achievement for collecting all scraps, you have to do all races. You don't have to click at all of those cardboard arrows, by the way. As long as you hit the checkpoint before well, the timer runs out, I guess, yeah. So, to be honest, I, I didn't like lose a race. So, <laughs> I don't know what, what would happen if you took too long. Oh, that's a lie. There was one near a whale that took... Oh, hang on. I've got to talk about this bit now. So we've just spoken to Jill. Um, we're going to go round behind her up these rocks and find a stick in the ground. Um, that is what we can use as a make-believe sword. But we need to come back to this same area in a little while. Um, that exact same area, remember where it is, because um, we're going to go back there in a little while and speak to someone and they will give us a better weapon because uh, this stick is no good. So I'm going to get sidetracked and you'll find this as well on your playthroughs. Um, You'll see things out the corner of your eye and you'll just have to go for them. Basically, you have to destroy everything you see. Um, every cardboard cutout and every jar um, on the whole map. Um, yeah, you have to demolish, obliterate to smithereens. So, yeah, do that. Try not to get too off track. 
because I am going to try to take you to the main areas so you can complete the main storyline. Um, and once you've done that, you can unlock the uh, the hints and the megaphone, which will help you find all scrap and all friends on the map. I do believe in my last video edit, because uh, I made these videos a while ago, still angry at myself because um, I could have actually beat the big dogs uh, to get this freaking guide out, but my uh, computer crashed after I'd, I'd done about an hour's worth of editing for frick's sake, and I was not very happy about that. So, yeah, I had a, like a bit of a tantrum for two days. And then when I saw what the, what the big dogs had brought out all their guides already for this game, I was even more pissed off because I could have brought it out like two, three days before. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. So basically what I'm trying to do is find the guy with the bracelets um, and he's up here somewhere. But I see jars, so obviously I'm going for them. If you see stuff um, when you're heading towards missions or certain certain areas that I'm directing you towards, obviously destroy them because they all have to be eventually anyway. So here's the bracelet, dude. So we brought that off him. So I believe we're trying to find Avery still, the third friend of ours, um, which I will do in a moment, but as always, get distracted by these cardboard dudes. They need to be demolished, so you might as well demolish them. I promised my friend I wouldn't have beer when I did a commentary about it. <laughs> I've got to be honest. This is my second beer. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try to um, remember what's happening here. So Avery's, yeah, up, up to the left of us there. So there he is. So once we've done that, we can, leave, we can then craft the hat. Once we've craft the hat... We can then go to our big sister and um, that will be the opening storyline for Nidor. Done. So once we've talked to our sister, um, obviously I'm just going to go off here and do random stuff and, and destroy, you know, cardboard cutouts. Uh, but just remember, there is technically kind of like a couple of islands here. So we've got this island and we've got the main island that we're going to go to very shortly. Right, so when we get to our sister, there'll be um, dialogue. And I believe the first thing we're going to do is upgrade the playground. But obviously we're going to have to make friends. Every time we want to do that, we need to make friends. So I think we just need one friend for the first upgrade and then five friends for the second upgrade, 10 friends for the third. Um, and then my memory sketchy. So we can see the big, uh, I was gonna say phallic and I just did anyway. We see the big flashing light, um, I was going to say satellite, antennae, um, yeah, the big structure with the flashing lights on it, 
that is a good reference point um, because we basically always kind of need to go towards that area anyway. That and the wind turbine, um, I think, are two very good reference points um, if you ever get lost. So this, um, if you see anyone, talk to them obviously on your way. This box is going to give us um, our first weapon, which is like a stone. We're going to skip it three times across the lake. He's going to be so impressed with us because we're like, yeah, dude, I'm totally awesome. Far out, man. So then we find the chest under the concrete sort of bridge type area. Let me say that again, but then I did because it's funny. Anyways. Up, up and away, I guess we go. Um, so those memories are not relevant. The only time I think that me those memory sequences are relevant is when we're looking for the triangle, which is actually a sandwich, by the way. Okay, so we're going to go up to the playground. I'm going to demolish some stuff to the left of me. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to go to the playground and upgrade it two times. And I'll join you with commentary afterwards. <laughs> Okay, so I'm popping in just here quickly. Um, you spoke to someone who got a palette of paint. That will be important for an achievement later. We're going to have to dress in um, certain items um, to unlock certain achievements. Okay, so now we're going to upgrade the playground. Not once, but twice. Oh, yes. Return to later. Anyways, I'll spare you from that. Yes, I didn't spare you at all. I tortured you all. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be our second upgrade. Now, I think... I think we might need nine extra friends here. Or maybe six. Um... Itchy ass memory here. Yeah. So with this dude, collect the trash for him, but do not buy any items of him just yet. Um save save it all for the bracelet dude. Um we've only brought one bracelet, so we've got two more to buy. I think for five hundred or one thousand. I don't know, they're going to be expensive anyway, so make sure you've got enough scrap to pay for it. So, anyway, so what I do is waste my money on this dude, because I'm thinking, crap, I need to make a certain amount of friends. But to make this dude a friend, you have to buy his whole inventory, and he'll keep bringing out new items as you buy them. So, I'd save this dude for last. There's no real urgency to do him right now. came out completely not correct so yeah what I'm about to do is buy a load of crap off him that we don't really need these weapons it's not like these weapons like do any damage more than the other so it's just you know your preference I guess <laughs> so There's 
There is one item I think he sells um, that does unlock an achievement, which is the sticky pink or purple type hand looking thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wasted my money on that dude. Um, but when, you know, it came time for me to get the second bracelet, um, I had more than a scrap, more than enough scrap for, for that. Um, so, you know, up to you if you want to buy some items of him or not. Um, I personally wouldn't bother. She's just stone. I mean, honestly, it's quite accurate, actually. Or when you get those little um, flying origami type things of the karate people. Anyway, there's another race here. So do that because that counts towards um, your scrap. And it also leads us to the big kids. So we can make four friends here. Um, Jill seems to be their like captain and then these three people seem to be their lieutenants or something I don't know <laughs> anyway I just speak to all these three people one you've got to get is all um, this one you've got to get beetle and the other one you've got to get triangle I believe I'm trying to go for the beetle first but yeah the um, person that wants a triangle is up here The yellow triangle. Hmm, I wonder what that is. I'm going to spoil it for you. In three, two, one. The triangle is a sandwich. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to find the beetle. Um, after re-watching this footage, and um, this being my second run through and knowing where I went wrong, the best way to sort of tell you where the beetle is is there's a photographer and she's looking at a bird in a tree and if you find that bird in the tree you just need to go in front of it just a few paces but anyway keep up with this video and i'll eventually find you the right route to go so i go here you should go left instead of going down here you should go to the left on the other side of it and you'll see a little racetrack. That racetrack will whiz you by the beetle. And drop you off right where the ore will be. Or will be revealed in a moment. You shall see. Okay, we're going to find it in a moment. Uh, the racetrack is somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah, here we go. Beetles on the left, there. Um, you need to do this racetrack anyway. And also we find the ore. So we're about to find two items. Um, which will satisfy at least two of the, out of the three friends. So here on the right is the beetle. And you don't ha actually have to capture it at all. You just have to follow it, follow it, follow it. And um, basically, you will chase it into the arms of the beholder that wants it. That's that little one as well. Anyways, we can bash up some cardboard here, get some more scrap. That's good. And then just follow just follow it around, 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 and eventually the person that wants it will actually capture it themselves. So why did we waste our effort? Right, so because we picked up the ore as well, we're gonna find a tawny. A thorn. Is it a thorn? Oh no, it's Suzanne. Okay, my bad. Okay, so now we're going to bash the ore with our weapon, which happens to be a net right now. 
inflicts more harm than you think. Eventually, we get a, a really cool looking hammer. So you're going to see some dodgy editing coming up. Um, I might go for the bracelet on this. I'm just trying to remember um, if I edited this part out or not. No, I didn't. I should have done because I can't get to the bracelet right now. I give up in a minute. But um, you can actually get to the bracelet right now. Uh, but because I know I'm recording my footage, um, I move on <laughs> very swiftly. Um, so I'm going to briefly talk to this photographer. All we have to do is disturb um, a bird in a tree. We'll briefly see that. I'll throw a stone up. Um, just in a moment, just so you can see sort of where it is. But this triangle thing, we need to destroy all these blue cardboard cutouts. Um, sorry, I didn't delete that um, empty footage there. But I had to cut out a lot of me faffing around on this one. But anyway... Up here, I found these three individuals to talk to. So, blue shirt dude, give him chips. The middle dude, give him lasagna. And the red angry bird, uh, give apple slices to. And that's three friends we've just made there. But we're going to go back and try to find those blue cardboard cutouts. Obviously, I get distracted by the balloons. Oh, it would have been so cool if I could have just got that in one shot, though. Um, so um, click on those two memories there that I just ran past because I honestly didn't have any problem finding this uh, sandwich. I didn't even know it was a sandwich. I just smashed all the blue stuff and got it right away. But on this playthrough, not find them so I don't know if it was me clicking on these memories that triggered them because obviously in my first playthrough I didn't know what was what so I was clicking everything but, um yeah if anyone knows if those memories actually unlock the see I can see one up there but I swear down I was um maybe I should put the unedited footage up I went all up and around here, I swear down, there was no blue ones here. But anyways. Here it is. Bash it, get it. And now we can give it to Jean. Okay, so how much do we have left? We have four minutes and 30 seconds left. So we speak to Jill um, and then we'll go over to Jill and the rest of the gang that will unlock four friends in one fell swoop. It should anyway and give us an achievement hopefully. Oh yes and we can upgrade the playground area type place. Anyway we've got four friends there that's great. Got an achievement, even better. Um, so now I believe I'm either going for the bracelet or the bird. I can see the bird to the right, so I'm definitely going for the bird here. Oh, now I'm going for the bracelet by the look of it. Yeah, I'm going to go get the bracelet first, then get the bird. I think, where is that bird? Now I don't know where I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to get splinters. I'm going down, down, down. That's just not a pleasant feeling. Right, nope, still haven't got it. I am going for the bird, I think. No, I'm not. I'm definitely going for the bracelet. That's what I'm going for. 100% going for the bracelet. Just, uh, just remember that the bar you have doesn't last long, so don't use it all up. 
otherwise you slide down. So here we go, we're going to get the second bracelet. Yay, yay. And then, eventually I'm going to go disturb that bird. I can't remember where it is right now. So, <laughs> just floating around aimlessly. All right, I see it. It's up there to the right. Right, so... Once we disturb this bird, we'll see um, we'll see the chick talk anyway, and we'll know where to um, travel over to. Once we disturb the bird, she can take the picture. Then we can go over. It's perfect. Oh, hey, well there. Another friend done. So that's eight. Oh no, that's nine. Nice. Very nice. Right, so with this whale down here, when you pull out the <clears throat> cannonball, stand in front of the whale on the beach to talk to it. Um, so it becomes sort of like a, an ally, like a friend. Um, because <laughs> I was stuck on that whale. Um because if you're on top of it to get on the air chute, if you don't have enough bracelets, that is, um, it has like a question mark there and you try to press it and talk to the the whale and it just won't respond. But you do have to be on, on land in front of it to uh, talk to it. Anyways, maybe you guys figured that out right away, but I did not. So, helpful warning right there. Right, so I'm just going to aimlessly run around and bash things, I think. But eventually I'm going to go to the playground or the swimming area. Anyways, we'll pick up on part two where we leave off on part one. If you've liked my guide, please like and subscribe to it. I really do appreciate it. Okay, everybody, take care and bye for now. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. Work hard. Play harder.